Here we have another problem where we're trying to find the volume of a sphere. And in this case, just like in, in other problems, we're given the diameter. And it might not seem like a diameter. You might say, oh, well, that's the height of the sphere, right? 21 centimeters. But if you think about what a sphere is, it's like a three-dimensional circle in a way. So the diameter, I mean, any way I go here, right? Any direction I go in, I can keep going here. Those lines are all 21 centimeters across. So if the height here is 21 centimeters, the diameter is 21 centimeters, and we can figure out the radius, right? So here, the diameter equals 21 centimeters. The radius is going to equal half of that, so 21 divided by 2 centimeters. And that gives us what? Well, that gives us 10 and a half centimeters. So that's our radius, is 10 and a half centimeters. And to figure out the volume of a sphere, I'm going to apply, I think, the most common formula used, pi r cubed, right, times 4 thirds. You can write this in any order that you want to. So here, pi, um, we're going to leave alone as a constant. I'm going to leave this in terms of pi, so I don't have to deal with the irrational number. Radius cubed, well, that's going to be 10.5 to the third power, right? times 4 over 3. So I think the best way for me to deal with this kind of a problem now is to break out the calculator. So I'll drag this over here. So 10.5 cubed, I'm just going to multiply 10.5 times 10.5 times 10.5. And I get 1,157.625. 1,157.625. Right, we haven't multiplied by 4 thirds yet, and we're leaving pi there. Right, in terms of pi, and we're in cubic centimeters here, right? So because we multiply the centimeters of the radius by themselves three times, so it's right centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. It just means how many cubes fit inside the sphere. So now I'm going to multiply this number right by four and divide by three because I could divide by three and multiply by four. The order doesn't matter here, um, but I'm going to multiply by four and then divide by 3. And here is my volume in terms of pi. It's 1,543, 1,543.5 pi cubic centimeters. This is saying that about this many cubic centimeters, a little, little cubes, right, centimeter by a centimeter by a centimeter, if I put them into the sphere, this many of them would fit. And this is in terms of pi, and if you wanted to estimate you could estimate the value of pi to some value. So we know pi is about 3, right? So you could triple this <coughs> and say, well, the, the total volume, <coughs> volume, if we're estimating pi to a whole number, is about 4,630.5, right? Yeah, 4,630.5 cubic centimeters. And that's not in terms of pi, and all I did here was multiply by about 3. I estimated pi. But I, I love to leave my volume in terms of pi just because it's one less step to deal with, an irrational step, right? So anyway, now here, the volume is about 4,600 cubic centimeters, a lot of little cubes that fit in the sphere. It's almost surprising because, you know, this distance right here is only 21 centimeters, something to think about, right? How much space a sphere can really pack into it. All right, thanks.